because the pegs in the toy aisle are full of hangman action figures because nobody wants to buy them. The bad blood between former AEW world champion CM Punk and Hangman Page still exists, at least on one side of the equation. Following Punk's and FTR's loss to AEW trios champions The House of Black on Saturday's AEW Collision, CM Punk took to the microphone after the show went off the air to deliver a promo, part of which included a dig at Hangman Adam Page, who CM Punk defeated to win his first first AEW World Championship amid the development of some real-life bad blood between them. In the clip, you can see that CM Punk saw a sign that said Carolina is Hangman Country, and then had a few choice words for Hangman, referring to him as a peg warmer because his action figures sit on the pegs at the store, unlike himself, that moves merchandise, pops ratings, and sells toys. He also said it was objective for those in AEW that claim they are the heart and soul of the company to do so. And I figured out why they call him Hangman. It's because the pegs in the toy aisle are full of Hangman action figures because nobody wants to buy them. He's a pet warmer, unlike me, who moves merchandise and pops ratings and sells toys. Now everybody in AEW is saying, I'm the heart, I'm the soul, I'm the spirit. Well, that's objective. What is a fact is the people who say that certainly aren't the chin of AEW. Well, after their match took place at May's 2022 Double or Nothing, CM Punk called out Hangman Adam Page on the August 2022 Dynamite promo as an unplanned part of a promo, even though he wasn't in an angle with him. It was later learned there were issues between the two dating back to the buildup of their aforementioned title match. Page was one of the people Punk called out in his now infamous All Out post-event promo. But what did I ever do in this world to, go, to deserve an empty-headed like Hangman Adam Page to go out on national television, go into business for himself. In an interview with Mark Raimondi of ESPN back in June, CM Punk spoke about the situation with Hangman Adam Page. In the interview with ESPN, he spoke about how he had a garbage match with Hangman Adam Page because during the match, Page chopped him in the mouth one time and chipped his tooth. Punk said that during the match, he was wondering if he should return the favor and give him a receipt, saying it changes the dynamic and that it poisoned everything for him in the match. He also said, and it made it all really, really ugly, and that was what set all of this off, and here we are over a year later and ain't been done about it. Moving on, hours before they will take each other on for the AEW World title, MJF and Adam Cole will challenge Aussie Open for the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles as part of the AEW All-In Zero Hour pre-show. The pay-per-view event is set for London's Wembley Stadium on Sunday, August 27th. On this past Wednesday's Dynamite, Cole said during a promo with MJF that he has never won the titles in his time there and suggested to him that they challenge for them ahead of their singles match against one another. After a squash win on Friday's Rampage, Ozzy Open accepted the challenge after mocking both MJF and Adam Cole. The duo won the titles at July's Death Before Dishonor and will be looking for their third title defense. Former adversaries MJF and Adam Cole were paired up in the recent Blind Eliminator Tag Team Tournament to earn an AEW Tag Team title shot. After winning it, they fell short in their challenge of reigning champions FTR. Soraya is all in. Outcast member Soraya defeated Sky Blue in a tournament bout on Friday's AEW Rampage to advance to the Women's World Championship four-way match set for All In. Soraya will challenge current Women's World Champion Hikaru Shida, Tony Storm, and the winner of this Wednesday's Britt Baker vs. The Bunny match in the four-way bout at All In. Shida defeated Anna Jay on this week's Dynamite in a tournament match to earn her spot in the four-way, while Storm received a bye into the bout by virtue of cashing in her rematch clause against Shida as former Women's Champion. 
Storm lost the title to Shida on AEW Dynamite 200 last week. I also had the chance to interview Hikaru Shida and she spoke about the upcoming match at All In. Here's what she had to say. I really hope Britt Baker going to be here, there. Yeah, because, yeah, like I said, this is the biggest show in our history and me and Britt Baker was the member from the very beginning, so we are original, so, <clears throat> you know, we are not like a friend, but, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I feel, I feel something special connecting with Britt Baker and I know how she feel like a standing at Wembley Stadium and she wrestled from the very first pay-per-view and this is the big moment for us for AEW I really know the feeling so I hope she is there. On Saturday's AEW Collision, Powerhouse Hobbs had an in-ring promo where he called out Miro for a match at Sunday, September 3rd pay-per-view. Hobbs said he had been distracted lately and went home to read from the Book of Hobbs, with the next chapter being called Redemption. He said after losing the TNT title and losing in the Owen Hart Foundation tournament, he had to call out the Redeemer for a fight. This would be the first ever meeting between them. Also, AEW's television next week will be called Fight for the Fallen. Tony Khan on Friday afternoon announced that due to the recent wildfires in Maui, Hawaii, he has made the changes to the slate of next week's shows. Proceeds from the Dynamite Rampage tapings in Nashville, Tennessee and Collision in Lexington, Kentucky will go to the Maui Food Bank. On to some Friday Night Smackdown news. The Bloodline storyline continued further after Jey Uso got the upper hand against the Bloodline. Jay then laid out his brother Jimmy Facing the camera, Jay said he was done with the bloodline, was done with SmackDown, and done with WWE. He then exited through the crowd to end the show. Jimmy had confronted Roman Reigns in the main event of Friday SmackDown. Before he could explain why he attacked his twin brother at SummerSlam, Jay arrived and demanded an explanation. Jimmy explained that he prevented Jay from winning because he didn't want Jay to become the tribal chief saying that Jay would become just as corrupt as Reigns if he attained that kind of power. Jay turned his back on his brother, causing Jimmy to eventually exit the ring. After Jimmy laid out both Reigns and Sola Sokoa, he motioned Jimmy to come back to him. Jimmy did, but was soon met with a super kick by Jay. 